Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist. It's quite a racket out there. Wolfenstein the Old Blood, folks. Episode 11, we're here. Friggin' all hell has kicked off here in Wolfsburg. We found our way actually down here. I've been for a bit of a swim. We've got the ladder roboter, but we're not using it at the moment. Because I just found another friggin' Wolfenstein 3D thing. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm sure the zombie apocalypse can wait until I've just done this. Why was I hearing zombie friggin' sounds just then? Weird. Ooh. Blue and red. Who's round? Oh. Oh. Get out of it. Oi. Stop. You bitch. Whew. Bloody enemies. Any more of you around there? No. Nope. Right, let's try for the right first. Oi. Stop it, dog. Oh yeah, hiding lots of ammo in here. Fantastic. Thank you for helping me get geared up nice and quickly. Hello. Oh. Okay, take the shots, bitch. <laughs> uh, that's... Oh. Plenty of doors. Routes to go. Oh. Shit. Cripes. Oh my god, there's two of you. Fuck. Pile them bullets into him. Can they actually come through these doors? I imagine they can, right? Or can they? That dealt with them. There we go. Silver in here. Excellent. Get all of it. So clearly there must be um, certain amounts of silver in every single one of these secret levels. And you're just supposed to find it, I guess. And maybe that gives you an upgrade. Interesting. What else is around here? Oh. Got you. Switch back to this for a bit, I think. Oh. Anyone? Okay, we're good. Uh, let's go through this way. Ooh. Shit. Crap. Come through. Shit. Balls to you. Hold on. Ooh. Friggin' assholes busting through at me. Ah, key number one. Presumably. Oh, secret area in here as well. Thank God. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, no, that's health. I thought it was a giant friggin' ammo box for the assault rifle. But it's not, unfortunately. Go this way then. Oh, get that. There we are. Hello. Oh. What's this room? Friggin' bone room? Good lord. You're just in here defending your valuable pile of bones? Oh, yeah. I hope BJ Vaskovic doesn't come along and take all my bones, yeah. Oh. Right, well. <laughs> it's a dungeon, basically, folks. That's what it is. Right. Back over here, then. Uh, we came from... wait. Oh yeah, we came from this way. We did go through here, didn't we? That's just... no. Oh, or did we? Maybe we didn't. Hold on. Oop. No, we didn't go this way. Oh god, you're not dead? I thought I killed you. Oh lord. There you are now. Alright, switch to the pistol for a bit. Once again. Okay. Nothing there. Aha! Ooh, now this looks interesting. Ooh, I saw you. Just fucking shot me. Like an asshole. Hello? Ooh. There's a lot of doors. There's a barracks room, I guess. That's what it looks like anyway. Hitler, you're not hiding anything. Okay. I'll go over here. I think these doors here probably just go through to that other hallway, don't they? Yeah, this is just a series of barracks rooms. Good. Special rifle ammo. Good, 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 good. And back through. Now, at the end of the last episode, I um, said I was going to sort of tab out and just check the footage between episodes, you know. Make sure, of course, everything was working. I didn't actually get an opportunity to do that. Turns out you can't tab out of this game partway through, but of course I hadn't had a save point, so I didn't want to just 
quit out, because then I'd have to play back to where I was. Balls to all of you. What's through here? Oh. This goes around the back, maybe? Let's have a little look. Hello? Does it all just loop around? Maybe it does. Okay. So we just went through and cleared a load of enemies, I guess. Who's this guy down here? There he is. He just went to hide around that corner, I guess. Right, well, what's this way, then? Hello! Oh. No, oh, I guess... I guess we just go back the way we came and go through the uh, door with the swastikas flanking it. In that case. I mean, we've got a key, so I don't think there's anything else in here, is there? Unless I missed something. Which is always a possibility. can come back and check if I've balls it up. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, wait a minute. Through here. Ah. Health. Don't need. We're good. We're the golden. Ooh. You got these banners here. Hmm. Curious. Oh. Just patrolling this little corridor. That's all you were doing. Hello. Left. Let's try left first. Oh. That's another dungeon. I see you there. Anyone else? There's lots of ammo around. Not that we need it. Oh, actually, no. There's tons of uh, assault rifle stuff. Thank God for that. It's been generous. Lovely jubbly. Again, I'm probably missing so many classic Wolfenstein 3D secrets. That's fine. Hello. Ah. Is this uh, where we need the key? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's the exit. I doubt we got all of the um, silver, though, did we? I imagine, anyway. Boom! But we may well get an achievement, at least, for completing that. Ah, there you go. There's a friggin' save point. Probably could have actually done that at the end of the last episode, couldn't I? Old Town Nightmare, complete the Nightmare in Chapter 7. Done. Fantastic, right. We need to fucking get our hasses out of here, I do think. That's what we need to do. <laughs> Found my way back to where I was. Um, ah, here we are. It all loops around. See? Right, here's so many fucking zombies. We've got to get a move on. That's what we've got to do. God, you're such a slow swimmer there, BJ. Got to be quicker than that, old boy. All right. Go. Get the ladder, Robota. Like so. And go. There's probably actually stuff in that house there, though, isn't there? Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Can I fucking get out? There we go. Spamming the space bar and it wasn't letting me out. Hang on, what's uh, in here? Uh, armour, lots of armour. Knife, grenades I'll take. Uh, shotgun shells if I need them. Pistol ammo don't need. Another knife. Okay, cool. This is just good extra stuff if you need it. Someone just left a radio set out here. Weird. Right, let's go. Stuck on, stuck on that destroyed Kuba wagon. Hey guys! Fucking smash them. Oh, so many of them coming. Yeah. At you. And you. And you. Good. Turn all of you to. Hey! Christ, it's like an explosive thing there. I didn't even realise. Yeah. At you. And you, you're standing there politely, thank God. Oh, eviscerated. And get them. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Watch where they're going. Gotcha. And you. Oof. Just take them all. Right. Shock. Is that all of you? Oh, Jesus. Crap. Right, let me out. Hold on. They're going to be that way, are they? I didn't even realise they can actually climb up on the ladder or butter like that, but apparently they can. Wait! Good, jeez, don't jump scare me. Fuck. They're getting tougher. Feels like they might be. These freaking zombos. 
Don't need, don't need. That can't. It's open. Ah. Never mind. Looks like we are going to go through there. That was a bit of a waste of uh, shotgun shells, but never mind. Luckily, there's ones over here if we need them. Um, might as well be a bit careful, though. Ooh, gold. Sure, I'll take them. Why not? Is there someone else spawn? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, anything down here? In Boot House? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Boots House. Boat House, I guess. Something's over there. Anyone in here? Ah! Article Wolfberg Aid Injured Soldiers. Uh, January 7th, 45. The hospital in Wolfberg is one of many hospitals throughout Germany focusing on the treatment and physical therapy of soldiers wounded in combat. The hospital's head physician, Dr. Franke, told the reporter about the pride he felt taking care of the war heroes. It's a joy to go to work each day when you know that what you do is for the benefit of these patriots, said the doctor. These boys want nothing more than to regain their physical strength so that they can return to the front and the doctors and nurses here are grateful for the opportunity to support them. During the last war, Dr. Franke has seen the dwindling numbers of injured soldiers. It's clear that we are winning the war. I've never had so few patients here as I have today, he beamed. Okay. Uh, health. Don't need. I see lots of things shining at me. It's just armour. Armour. Okay, what's upstairs? Anything? Tons of bombardment ammo. Boats. Alright, okay. Oh, where did you come from? And you? The heck? Do you reckon you can jump across there? It's got to be gold. Yeah, it looks like something's across there. <laughs> gold, please? Or is it? Eh, don't need rocket ammo, unfortunately. Oh well. Shoot. I guess uh, if you're using your rockets. Oi! Where did you guys come from? Look at that. I need to get in there and uh, open the gate. Anything in those? No. At least it's generous with the shotgun shells. You can afford to be a bit profligate with it. I hear more zombies. Helmut's letter. Let me just read this, zombies, please. My dearest daughter, Yulia. Writing this letter, hoping to deliver it myself. I fear that will not be the case. That morning all those months ago. It was so difficult to part from you. I hope you understand this. Forgive me, but my obligation to fight for the fatherland compels me. I'm locked inside a house. I barricaded myself from the monsters walking around outside. I have food to last me for a couple of days. Maybe, if God wills it, I will survive. But I think not. Eberhardt used dynamite to open a stone door. It was a disaster. One of our men, Fritz, was hit by debris falling from the cave ceiling. Then something began leaking out of the opening. Some kind of gas. Fritz died later that night from his head wound. I was with him at the time. When I, heard, uh, when I left, I heard a strange, awful shrieking, and the medic who was taking care of him started screaming. I ran back over there and I saw him. Fritz! He was standing up again. He had been dead just seconds ago, I assure you, my daughter. He was moving strangely, shambling towards the medic, swiping at him with hands formed like claws. The poor man tried to defend himself, but the dead thing tore his throat out. I know this sounds horrible, but I need to write it down. You are old enough now to handle it. I managed to escape with a few of the others. One of the scientists from the expedition told me that the green gas was some kind of biochemical agent. It infects the brain of the recently dead, causes them to be trapped in a dead alive state, only focused on death and destruction. He rambled on about using this gas in war, but I stopped listening at that point. He was killed a few hours later. I miss you, my beloved daughter. I'll do my best to stay alive, but I want you to know that if I do not live to see you graduate from the League of German Girls, know that I will forever be with you in your heart. Your loving father, Helmut. Yeesh. Oh my god, so many of you. Right, fine. Open this thing up. I want to let go of it, BJ, before they all start piling in at you. So we're going to come through that entrance. Okay, this is a good defensible point, though, isn't it? Or so it feels, anyway. Anyone else out there? Oh. Yeah, there is. Look at that. I need the bomb and shoes. Yes, I do. I haven't really used the old bomb and shoes for a while. Alright, let me look for any shotgun ammo that we can collect before we go anywhere else. Oh! God, I thought, thought it was a freaking flaming zombie then. No, it's not. Thank God. Grenades. Is it not um, more shotgun ammo? Oh my God! This was here all this time, apparently. I didn't even realise. Shotgun ammo. I'm sure there's more. More shotgun shells. And that's in somewhere. Sorry, I'm doubling back the way I came. I just want to check. And just see. Whilst the music. 
calms down a little bit. Let me send you up here somewhere. Uh, rocket ammo. No, I don't think I did. Okay. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for sawn off ammo then. Wherever it might be. Okay, let's not get off track. Let's get back in the Lada Robota. And get our hasses moving. There is actually something. Oh, is that a health pack? It is. Can I jump across here? Yes, you can. Not that we need that. Okay. Uh, keep moving then. Not much else to be done at this stage. Oh, is that? Health. Right, back in. Let's keep moving. This way. Thank God this passage is just big enough. Concept for Old Town. Wolfberg's Old Town dates back to the 11th century, when the village was finally rebuilt after the Great Fire. Cool. Oh, hey. Go. Oh. It's the Sordid Church, I think. Bonk. Send you back. Crap. Balls to you. Oi. Stop that. Could you? Could you? Do you have a gun? Yep, you do. You're trying it, but you're not managing it. It clearly wants us to go into the church, doesn't it? Okay. Yeesh. Can't just smash it open, can I? I have to uh, get out here, I think. By the looks of it, which we'll do. Is the old Lada robot helped us through? Oh, hi. How's it going? Not too well, it looks like. Anything in here? Bombish of ammo, so much of it we don't even need. Oh! Special key, I think we need that for the gate. Oh! Can you hear me, Mr. BJ? I hear you, Annette. I think I found my friend. She's locked inside this big house. There's the back way. I will save her. Just... No time, Mr. BJ. I have to run. Just be careful. That's all he wanted to tell you, Annette. Just be careful. Right. There'll be more stuff around here. Oh, shock hammer. Slugs, thank God. Not had those for a while now, have we? Uh, armor don't need. We've got a hundred already. Sun off. There's got to be more shells or something around, doesn't there? Can we go up here? We can. No. Oh. oh, secret rocket pistol. Lots of little secrets. Ouch. He just destroyed me and goes. Okay. He wants us to go through there. We will do that in a second. Don't you worry. Aha. Hello. Uh, article Archaeologists Investigate Wolfberg Church Ruins. February 13th, 46. A team of archaeologists led by famed archaeologist Helga von Schabs has turned the old ruined church of Wolfberg into a scene much like that of an ancient Egyptian excavation. This is a beautiful city with some of Germany's friendliest inhabitants, said von Schabs during a break from a busy schedule. But it's also a city which holds many secrets. Secrets which may be important to the future of our great nation. When asked, several of the Wolfbergians were happy with the academic interest, giving them yet another reason to be proud of their city. However, a few people did not share the enthusiasm. There was a reason the church was burnt down, com uh, commented Elsa, one of the city's seniors. The past is the past and should be left alone, I say. Okay. Doubt the Nazis listened to that, but hey. Uh, ammo, don't need. It's like there's, well, by the sound of it, there's Nazis in there, so maybe we want to switch back to this for a little bit. Hiding anything else over here before I start heading inside the church? Ooh, machine gun turret. Okay. We can get to that and use that. Nope. Never mind. Shotgun it is. Oh shit. Oh, crap. That was a double discharge. Didn't mean to do that, but hey. Oh, there we go. A chunk. Oh, shit. Stagger them. Crap, there's so many of them. Oh, I can't go that way. Never mind. Got his head. Oh, we are running out of shells. Crap, we have to go to another weapon for a bit. Oh, got so much ammo in this thing. Might as well use this for a change, mightn't we? Got to take a few shots now, don't they? That's the issue. Okay, at least you can quickly reload that. Hold on. Get this. Oh god, someone's behind me. Sure. Who's there? You. Get out of here. Shit, so many of them. Luckily, this thing helps. Is that all of you? I don't know if it is. Oh. Does that sound of gunshots or something? 
someone else out there who might be shooting at me. Oh god, I just overcharged health. Didn't mean to. Thank god this is here. Oh. Doi. Shoot. Coming out of the bloody crypts. Sellers or whatever. Right, that's out. Okay. That's a shotgun. Got someone behind me. Yes, there is. Got so many of them. I think we're just going to keep moving here, possibly. Or is it going to keep coming? Thank God for the shock armor. Yeah, it's still coming out behind me. Huh. Might as well use this for a bit. Got fucking iron sights, please. Okay, my. Seriously, still need to replace my mouse. That's what I need to do. Oh, shotgun shells right there. Mustn't forget those. God, the way that it keeps flaring like that makes me think. Ooh. Makes me think. There's more zombies coming out. Hello. Get out of here. Is there a turret? Yes, there is. Oh, there's a turret where we can probably uh, reload that heavy, S uh, heavy MG. Hold on. Let's bring this over. Oh, shit. Fuck's sake, there's always more of them. Oh god, fuck sake, no, get out of it. Get out of it. Yeah, damn. Oh fuck me, still more of you. Jesus. Let me fucking get up here, please. Fuck sake. Just want to take this over and reload it, okay? That's all I want to do. Just let me do that. Shit. Get this. Mount. There we are. Attach. Should be reloaded now. Yeah, there it is. Great. Oh. Always remember, in these machine games, Wolfensteins, you get the heavy MG. You can always uh, put it on a mount again and reload. Got so many of you. Out of here. Shit. Fuck, I should be careful. Fuck. I should go and be prepared to reload this fucking thing. Is that everyone? Okay, that might be all of you. Ah, it enables me to bring the ladder roboter in, doesn't it? I see, I see. Anything else around here? Health. Don't need. Right. Okay. So yes, we had to come out into the church and just, uh, shit. I always press G by accident without meaning to. Not what I want. Chuck that away. I'm not going to be able to bring it with us. In you go. In you go, old boy. Wait. Where the fuck did you come from? Get out of here. Guess we head. Get out of here. Oh, there you go. That's four for the price of one. Swing, that was. Boom. Staggy up. Two. Three. Cleave through them. Right through here. Oh, wait. Get closer. Aha. The graveyard. This is where we need to be. Climb the wall. We'll do that in a second, but... There's definitely going to be secrets around here, hasn't there? Let me have a look. Just check the area, that's all. See what there is. Uh, health. No, no breakable crates. Not by the looks of it. Destroyed. What about on this side? Anything at all? I feel like... Mm, ah. Can we go up here? Oh, no, really? We can't? Or can we? Ah, feels like that's an opening that you should be able to get into, but... I guess... Oh, no, no, that's like... That's nothing. Okay, fine. Uh, what I need to do is remember here. Do we just climb up? Oh, we need the ladder roboter. Okay. We need the robot to get through. Alright, let's do that then. Hello. Exit level. Great. Climb along the arm, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Spooky graveyard. Lovely. Well, this is where the excavation is happening. God, this is genuinely just like Wolfberg in um, RTCW Chapter 8 dig site. You go to the actual uh, ooh, dig site in that game, in the graveyard and all that. Alright, concept unlocked. Church ruins. The old church ruins of Wolfberg have been shunned by the superstitious locals ever since the great fire that consumed the whole village centuries ago. Oh dear. Oh, concept unlocked. Graveyard entrance. An old graveyard disused since long ago. Its proximity to the defiled church has made it a fertile spawning ground for numerous local legends, some of which tell of an extensive network of ancient catacombs leading to the very gates of hell. Lovely, of course. Now where are the frigging officers at? That is the question. Oh, I don't want to go there. Do we want to go up here? Can we go up here? Yes, we can. You know, this does give me sort of vibes of. Do you remember that one level in Alice Madness Returns where you're under the sea and there's like the graveyard? Reminds me a bit of that. You know, like the drowned sailors, things like that. If you've never watched my Alice Madness Returns playthrough, I did a playthrough of it several years ago. It was a fun game. But of course it was played on an old PC that couldn't quite handle it at um, full frames. So it wasn't actually until quite late on in the series when I got my new, well the current PC build that I'm on at the moment, which had the capability to actually um, run it. It wasn't until I got to something like the Red Queen's domain that I could run it at a stable frame rate and all that. It's a good game, right? There's an officer there. Ooh, I don't know if I can snipe him from here. Maybe. Uh, oh fuck. Shit. Right, one's down. Where's the other one? He's gonna be around there somewhere. Apparently there's an invisible wall there. I can't get through. Weird. Oh, there's an invisible wall corner or something there as well. That's strange. Don't you just love invisible walls? Right, oh, shit. Try for that guy. Back up. Yikes. At least he didn't see me. Uh, ooh, shoot. <laughs> Pile bullets into that guy. Right, is he in here? This other officer. He could be. Ooh. Yeah, he is. Don't just shoot at me. Oh, shit, you. Why am I hitting you with that? That's useless. Granata, don't do that. You have it. Oh, shit. It's right there. Shit, there's another one. Christ, you're going crazy out there, aren't you? No! Shit! Shit! You haven't got an alarm, don't even try it. Is that all of you? Right, there's stuff in that friggin' tent that I kinda wanna find. Ooh, coffins. Very small ones, in fact. Right, let me have a look around here. There's a lot of things to investigate, it seems. Ooh. Tape reel. Ah, Michael, this patient. He's, she's mentioned him before. I should stay here and listen to it, because it's quite quiet. Sagte er, dass es nicht auffallen würde und ich mir keine Sorgen machen bräuchte. 
Irgendwie kam mir das seltsame vor und ich wurde misstrauisch. Der Priester stammte aus einer Familie mit weit zurückreichenden Verbindungen zu Wolfburg. Er war angesehen und hatte großen Einfluss auf die Stadtpolitik. Ich wusste, dass er Geheimnisse von Wolfburg kannte, von denen niemand sonst wusste. Also blieb ich eines Abends... Sorry, just checking this. <laughs> ...nach dem Gottesdienst da, um zu sehen, was der Priester tat. Ich versteckte mich in einer dunklen Nische und beobachtete, wie er zu meinem Arbeitsplatz ging und die Klappe an der Orgelpfeife öffnete. Er griff suchend mit der Hand hinein, bis er ein altes Pergament herausholte. Ein sehr altes. Er legte es vorsichtig in einen Koffer. Dann verließ er die Kirche. Ich folgte ihm nach draußen. An jenem Abend waren viele Leute wegen traditioneller Feierlichkeiten unterwegs und ich konnte ihm leicht folgen, ohne dass er mich entdeckte. Er ging durch die Altstadt bis zur alten Kirchenruine. Als ich die Kirche betrat, war er gerade dabei, mit einem Spaten den Boden neben einem der alten Gräber der Ritter von König Otto auszulösen. Ich war ein Erdhaufen aufgeworfen und der grub immer weiter, bis sein Spaten auf etwas Hartes stieß. Er entfernte eine dünne Erdschicht und darunter kam eine Steintür zum Vorschein. Eine sehr alte Steintür. Der Priester war außer sich vor Freude und tanzte wie ein Verrückter. Dabei entdeckte er mich. Ich wollte wegrennen, aber er folgte mir und stieß mich um, so dass ich mit dem Kopf auf einen Stein schlug. Er stellte mir Fragen, was ich wüsste, wie viel ich gesehen hätte, was ich wollte. Dann sagte er mir, ich solle mir keine Sorgen machen und alles würde gut. Dann nahm er einen Stein und hielt ihn hoch über seinen Kopf. Ich hatte keine Zeit nachzudenken. Ich musste etwas tun, sonst hätte er mich erschlagen. Also stieß ich ihm die Finger in die Augen. Ich spürte, wie ich ein Auge durchstieß und mein Finger in etwas butterartigem steckte. Warmes Blut ran aus seinem Kopf. Mein Gott, ich kann es immer noch spüren. Beruhigen Sie sich, Michael. Beruhigen Sie sich. Niemand wird Sie deshalb beschuldigen. Das war natürlich Notwehr. Erzählen Sie weiter. Ja, er schrie und schrie und hielt sich die Hände vor die Augen, auch als das Blut zwischen seinen Fingern durchquoll. Und ich hob den Stein auf, mit dem er mich töten wollte, und schlug ihm damit fest ins Gesicht. Ich muss ihm die Nase gebrochen haben, denn ich hörte das Knacken von Knochen. Er fiel auf den Boden und ich schlug ihm immer wieder auf den Kopf, bis sein Schädel nachkam und er sich nicht mehr bewegte. Ich richtete mich auf und sah, was ich angerichtet hatte. Ich wusste nicht, was ich tun sollte. Also nahm ich den Koffer mit dem alten Pergament, das er aus der Orgel geholt hatte, und ging nach Hause. Als ich es mir später genauer ansah, erkannte ich, dass es eine Karte war. Eine sehr alte Karte. Es schienen irgendwelche Tunnel unter der alten Kirche abgebildet zu sein. Aus der Zeit, bevor sie eine Ruine war. Ich versteckte die Karte unter den Dielen in der Küche. Ich bin nicht mehr zu der Steintür in der Kirchenruine zurückgegangen. Ist sie immer noch dort? Ja, bestimmt. Ist sie dort sicher? Ja, ist sie. Gut. Was passiert jetzt mit mir? Kann ich wieder zurück? Ich denke, dass sie dafür zu krank sind. Aber das muss natürlich ihr Arzt beurteilen. Ich werde alles tun, um ihre Lage zu verbessern. Hm. Bringen Sie ihn zurück auf die Station. Die Befragung ist beendet. I mean, it's interesting, you know, it's quite a long one, that, because, uh, you know, nice big sizable interview. 
I feel like in a lot of games where you have rails like that with interviews on them, they're always dead short. <laughs> oh yeah, they went full on uh, with that one there. Right, other reading materials in here. King Otto's letter. Uh, Frau Oberschirm of Führer, as requested, here's the translated letter of King Otto, Gottfried Winkler. Otto, by the grace of, uh, grace of God, Holy Roman Emperor, to Venerable Conrad, Abbot of Wolfsburg, his most kind greeting. Because of the nature of our problem and the significant threat we face both from something illegible, I've made the decision to set, uh, end your investigations into the parchments from Constantinople. I'm well aware, my law friend, how dedicated you have been to illegible and a gift bestowed upon me by God. This latest construction, however, is an abomination from hell. I know you frequently complained about the parchments being incomplete, but I suspect it is actually the devil that is trying to steer us onto the left-hand path, which are not given to his wishes. The entire paragraph is illegible. By the power vested in me from our Lord, I command you to burn everything in the tunnels, destroy everything and let nothing live. You must leave nothing behind which can reveal what has taken place in those tunnels. I want all evidence of your illegible in Wolfburg destroyed. You must burn the map of the complex. If you can't destroy the illegible in the inner vault, then seal it so, uh, shut so that none may enter. Illegible, burn the entire city to the ground if you must. I'll send my best men to assist you in this task. If word escapes of what went on down there, my dear friend, you know I'll be required to have your head chopped off and illegible. Do this, then return to Paderborn, and I'll make sure to reward you justly and have you assigned to a, once again, illegible. Okay, and this one. Note from Helga, first entry transcribed from Father Gregory's diary, March 11th, 1934. How difficult to distinguish local legends from long-forgotten truths, but I'm beginning to suspect I'm onto something. There is a network of ancient tunnels hidden away underneath the defiled church ruins, becoming more and more convinced of this. Something is down there, hidden away from the world, perhaps never meant to be found. I'm thinking one only hides something if it's either hideous or valuable. I feel, in, I feel it in my soul that it's something valuable, a treasure? Oh Lord, if I should find this treasure, I could use it in celebration of your glorious name. Send me a sign, O oh Lord, if that is what you wish of me. Must remember to buy milk for the cats before I go home today. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, what else have we got? Get that. Ah. Helga's Diary, Entry 6, Friday 14th of March 46. Dear Father, you taught me to love the secrets hidden in the past. Yet the greatest secret of all, why you chose to end your own life. That secret you brought with you into the grave. I think about it all the time. It permeates my very essence, the search for an answer. Was it me, Father? Were you unhappy with me? I fear it's the one secret I will never dig out. I digress. Must focus on my thoughts. Must trust what it is I love about working in this field, unearthing the secrets of the past, the artistry of it. Out here I'm a sculptor, chipping away the stone to uncover the shape of the beautiful truth in inside. This work, uncovering the treasures of King Otto, might be my finest yet, and my most important. Already we've found so much. Gold, gems, ancient artefacts, but also curious gadgets, remnants of ancient machines. The truth has almost completely taken shape now. I believe King Otto was a romantic at heart. He loved his wife, Edgith. Maybe his ambitions as a king were quite modest before she died. I believe her death felt like a betrayal to him, a betrayal from God. He lost his faith, went into a deep depression. Then he had the Istanbul encounter where he discovered the parchments. From the parchments he learnt secrets to creating incredible machinery. The discovery inspired him to do great things. With the aid of this new technology, he would become the Holy Roman Emperor over all of Europe. Now, even though he was the king, the church was a very powerful entity at the time. They would have most certainly deemed his work to be influenced by the devil, and would reject his claim of the title of Holy Roman Emperor. So he dug these tunnels underneath what is now called the Defiled Church in Wolfburg, an underground complex functioning, functioning as his laboratory. This is where his scholars, and chief among them the abbot of the old church of Wolfburg, Conrad, worked in secret to, secre uh, to create war machines and alchemical potions from the ancient parchments he found in Istanbul. And then he tricked the church into believing that the machines he used in battle were actually angels sent to him from God. This piece is shaping into something very special indeed. I just need to chip away the last pieces of stone to reveal its secret essence, hidden, I believe, inside King Otto's inner vault. I think I'll celebrate tonight with some nice wine. Of course you will. So you left a freaking bottle out here, didn't you? Right. Uh, health. Ammo. Oh, something else to read here. There's a lot. Note from SS archaeologist Randolph from uh, Frau Obersturm and Führer. I suggest that we dig a tunnel into the northwestern part of the graveyard. There are many clues that lead me to believe we could more easily find the way into King Otto's underground complex by going that way. We need to dig very deep, and we need a lot more manpower to build things like elevators, rail tracks, power conduits, and so on. When you have the time, please come and consult me, Randolph. Oof, is that all the reading in here? Hopefully. Is there anything uh, back? That's just the entryway over there. Armour. Alright, let's have a look around this area. What's in the sort of watchtower? If anything. Anything good? Health. 
conscious stuff. Ammo that we don't need. Okay, cool. Up, down. Uh, there's this generator over here, there's a tent over here. Anything good? Jury cans, anything to read? Not by the looks of it, just more armor. Oh, no, there is something to read. Note from Helga, third entry transcribed from Father Gregory's diary, August 19th, 1935. August has been so hot, I'm sweating like a pig. And while the heat is melting the skin off my bones, this research into what lies buried underneath the defiled church has started to haunt me in my dreams. It's been going on for the past few weeks now. I believe I must desist. I believe it's the work of the devil. Demons and witches working for the beasts trying to fool me. I've seen them following me, disguised as humans. Well, I will not be fooled by them. I've tried to burn the letter on the map I found, but I cannot. I will hide them instead. Keep them safe. Okay. Oh, I don't need that. Because so much reading. Note from Helga, second entry transcribed from Father Gregory's diary, April 735. I found an old map. Very old. Along with a letter from King Otto, the Holy Roman Emperor. I knew it. The tunnels, they are real. Oh, Lord. Thank you for kindly sh uh, finally showing me a sign. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, old boy. I guess we're going over here. Or into there, actually. Again. Woo. What's going on down here? Nothing. This is a hiding point. There's uh, these walkways. I think that's where we're going up there. Yeah, it is. So hold on. What's the deal with the pi uh, pipes? Walkways, rather. <laughs> uh, bomb and stuff. Health. Don't need. Okay, never mind. It's just additional ammo if you want it. Yeesh. This kind of actually reminds me a bit of um, just sort of like the deep foggy chasm with like the precarious rickety wooden walkways around it. Of an RTCW custom map I played fucking years ago. Which one was it? Was it Relic Hunt? It was one by Cat. A person called Cat who makes RTCW custom maps or didn't used to make them. At least. Aha. God, we haven't had one of these in a while, have we? These fucking doors. Open up. There we go. Unlock Challenge Graveyard. What have you been digging for, Helga? And we've just had a save point, so I think this is probably a good time to wrap up here, since we're about to get into a new and distinct section of the game. So, hope you'll join me for the next part, where we'll descend into the depths below and all that. Facebook and Twitter links are down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. Oh god, I'm getting gas coming up my throat from my drink. Uh, yeah, Facebook links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. If you enjoyed, a like is of course always appreciated. More than that, I am signing off now, folks. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Get in there, do some damage. And fucking lose the tower. Let's do it again. It's an important point. Here we go. Take that bad boy down. Get that fucking wizard out of there. He's nearly dead. Now he explodes. Then they just move on to take out that one remaining building. Boom. Have we done it? Have we won? Click the marks for me, Shorty. Strategy UI.